Greetings, YouTube. I have been waiting a good amount of time to commentate this opening because it's much longer than usual. It's about three to four times as long as the normal commentary submissions. And uh, it's also got sort of an awkward watermark. But uh, basically, uh, we have a uh, subscriber who's a free-to-play player, Pro2004, who saved up clips of nine months worth of free-to-play growth. And like you, I am sure, I am confused and uh, somewhat annoyed by the uh, sponsored watermark. By the way, this is not sponsoring anything for me. This is just what he had to record on. Has no connection to my channel whatsoever. But, you know, other than the watermark, the, um, the crystals are there, and they're actually clear. Maybe they're crystal clear because whatever he was using to record made him put the watermark over the video, which is quite bizarre. But hey, Domino Falcon Venom Pool. Can someone explain to me how Venom Pool is not getting a buff right now, but Crossbones is? I just, I've given up on trying to figure out why Kabam chooses to buff the champions they do when they do. I'm excited about Crossbones. My Battle Realm bestie Katie Candy said that he should be upgraded even before the buff to rank 5. Which, maybe he should. Golly. So many crystals. So many, like, blasts from the past. But Pro 2004, despite the watermark issue, I promised you I'd commentate it. Here we are. It was going to be a sinister opening, and then it landed on a dark hawk. Remember when the featured crystal had Professor X and Quake? Good times. There we go. Speaking of Prof X, X marks the spot, you know what I'm saying? There are so many crystals in this opening. Now we have 10 duels. I mean, wow. Nine months worth of free-to-play work. This is hard work. When you're a free-to-play player, nothing comes easy. Everything has got to be earned. You can't just buy your way to a crystal. Now you can grind your way to arena success and use the units to buy special offers. And we've seen quite a few, especially for Uncollected and Above and even Cavalier and Above. Oh, look, it's Hell's Kitchen, otherwise known as uh, my kitchen growing up in New Mexico. It was Hell. All right, eight more. Eight more, and then a whole lot more where that came from. Gwynpool, okay. It's truly crazy now how far you can come in the game in nine months. Even as a free-to-play player. Like, the growth that your account can have is seriously jaw-dropping. And speaking of jaw-dropping, Nick Fury. Talk about a screenshot nominee. I recently watched Captain Marvel movie for the first time, and... Uh, well, re-watched re it for the first time, and I was reminded of, in that movie, how pathetic they make Nick Fury look. And then I was reminded, in this game, how he's way more OP than most people with, like, superhuman powers. I don't know what kind of sense it makes, but this game, it's almost like if they're OP in the comics, they're going to be a wet noodle in the game. And if they're a wet noodle in the comics, they're OP in the game. I don't know. Old balls! Mixing up a uh, awakened prostate. Four more of these, and then, like I said, so much more. Another Old Balls? No, he went to Cable. And let me tell you, I have seen some videos lately where summoners have been pairing Cable with Apocalypse without even being a horseman. Cable just becomes so much better. Really is a uh, an option for some summoners to use every day. Which is awesome if, you, uh, if you've if you got them and you want to bust them out. Two more of these. I feel the same way about Wolverine. Even with that before being a horseman with Apocalypse. So much fun. Stealth Spidey. No, it's Winter Soldier. Again. Alright. Last but not least, it's Elsa. First time Platinum Star her. Yep. Love that pull. Now, 10 duels of the science mystic variety. Let's see. I always get people to tell me, if you just save 10 
dual class crystals were 100,000. You're, you're guaranteed to get the dad bots. Let's just pretend this is me. We're looking for Red Guardian in one of these 10 to see if uh, the speculation is correct. So far, being iron fisted is uh, it's a free to play rite of passage, but it's definitely not the dad bod, Red Guardian himself. All right, eight more. Wow, it's just crazy how many crystals this is. Magic looking through that watermark, first time magic. You know, you know that magic is incredible when she was one of the first champions in the game and she still has major power control value and i have fought magic a few times in deep rooms of sector eight of incursions and because i don't have like a good magic counter that limbo has destroyed me virtually every time Speaking of being destroyed, first Nick Fury and then Human Torch, like I said, it's incredible the growth that a free-to-play account can have in nine months. And, and there are so many. That's double Sorcerer Supreme, by the way, in my spewing of data. I just failed to acknowledge that. Come on, Prof. Be better. Ghost Rider, he's a rare choice. So a lot of amazing pulls from this batch of 10, the best batch of 10 he's had so far, but no Red Guardian. Just got to say, no Red Guardian. All right. Now it's Awakening as Iron Fist, another rite of passage for free-to-play players. Really all players, right? Three more. Can he get a third Sorcerer Supreme? Why not? Uh, no, he's keeping things low-key. Two Sorcerer Supremes before one Loki. You truly never know what the algorithm's going to give you. I feel like Loki is a, a new champion for so many people when they start the game. What's up, Rhino? Speaking of new champions to start the game, he also is somebody that a lot of people can get. Last one, I appreciate your editing Pro 2004, by the way, because even though this is a much longer than normal video, it could be much longer even then without your editing. Uh, Voodoo ends it, and that is a great pull too, though I, at this point in the game, I, I kind of put him toward the middle of the pack in terms of all champions in the game. I still think he's one of the better Mystic champions, but if you're going to put him in like... A tier with everybody he's not going to scrape the top anymore which is pretty amazing because he used to be top five maybe ultron used to be up there too i still enjoy him the immunities the stun even the random evade certainly the regeneration but uh i wish he hit harder he should hit harder he got nerfed in patch 12.0 people forget what up nebula first time platinum star indeed so many huge pulls for this guy's future of his roster in five stars and it makes me wonder with all these five stars, how many six stars there's going to be at the end. Captain Marvel movie? What about that as a platinum star? No. He has really worked hard to upgrade her sig. I wonder if those were all natural dupes since it ended in a uh, multiple of 20. Doc Ock. Okay. God, so many crystals. We're going to have, what, like 55 stars by the time this is over? All right, six more. Venom, love that pull. I've gotten awakened six star Venom, and he is so much fun to use. I do miss bringing him in to the last edition of the Cavalier event quest nodes, but what are you gonna do? Ghost, woo! You got Ghost, you got Nick Fury, you got Human Torch, bro. You are killing it in this. Venom, another twenty six on Captain Marvel movie. Four more for the free-to-play Slayer. And then, again, a lot more where that came from. Oh, there's some six stars in this. Heimdall, the Abyss MVP in terms of synergy. Trust me, you'll be thankful you bring him in when you do your Abyss completion run, assuming you haven't already. Three more. Inferior Iron Man. Two more. And Sentinel. Last one. Man, so many five stars. You've hit really great pulls. Corvus? Nope. By the way, uh, still no dad bod. So... 
that theory, at least if I had done this exact batch, would not have worked for me again. So many good pulls. Captain Marvel movie and ghosts highlight this for show. Okay. Four of the last featured. Last featured? Or was it even more older? I can't remember. No, it was last featured. Spider-Ham and Apocalypse. Colossus Awaken. And Red Goblin. Two more. We've got ourselves Immortal Hulk. And the last one. Show us. Show us something good. Apocalypse. Mole Man. He's, he's solid. All right. Now what? Six star time, maybe? Nexus time. Okay. Maybe the dad bot will be in here for you. Ooh. Modok or Black Panther Civil War? I'd go Modok. I'd go with Fathead. Well, actually, Black Panther's getting buffed, right? Okay. Interesting choice. I support it. Without the buff, I would not have supported it. Modok's kind of an underrated attacker. Warlock! Woo! That's a no-brainer, if I've ever seen one. Although, the person I hate to fight the most, Nova, who always seems to go unblockable against me and just destroy me, uh, is getting a buff as well. Ten six stars. Oh, the data. Oh, the data. This is not a compilation of uh, nine months worth of six star pools. This is nine months worth of, worth of hoarding for six star shards all at once. Mojo is a solid start. You can do a heck of a lot worse than Mojo. But we're looking for Dr. Doom in this. Red Mags over to Man Thing. Would have much rather had Red Mags, though uh, the great Brian Grant loves Man Thing, I've been told, so I guess I need to get more on board with him since he tends to uh, certainly know what he's talking about with newer champs. Heck, a lot more than this guy does, as in me. University of Phoenix, ooh, right next to a guillotine 299. That's the uh, free to play experience and the six star basic experience rolled into one. So, so far, he can't be feeling great about these pools other than Mojo, but he has seven more and counting this one. And Omega? Oh, you jerk! Now, that is a puzzle piece champ. He needs to be awakened, he needs to be at a high sig, and then added a special, unique variant to uh, Omega. He needs to have suicides. Uh, turned on full. Now, of course, what are you going to do when you get Omega Red? The algorithm's going to be like, uh, now you get Satan yourself, Kamala Khan. Lucky you. Lucky you. Well, Omega Red is incredible, and even if you get nothing else good, but forget that. Just as I'm saying, you're probably going to get someone like Groot and Fear Iron Man. I can see the comments. My last three or four six stars, or maybe even more than that, have all been trash champs. So seeing Omega Red and Black Widow Clairvoyant pop out in like two out of three crystals for a free-to-play player. And then I love Red Hulk as well. Wow. Bro, you stole all the six-star free-to-play luck for everybody else. If you're a free-to-play player and you can never pull anybody good from the six-star crystal, you know who got your crystal. It's this guy. Now, of course, uh, like anything else, all good things must come to an end. And Red Skull is a reminder of that. Two more. Here we go, and Cole? What is going on? That's a 30% drop rate. Really, when you add Mojo, it's 40% for really good to amazing champions. Can we end on 50? Well, that was going to be a solid reel. He's probably the worst of the three in there between Sorcerer Supreme and Domino. But Omega, wow. And to end this crystal opening, here's the last lucky crystal. All right. I'm guessing this is Apocalypse, maybe, or Cosmic Ghost Rider, or somebody. Show us the last lucky crystal, Pro 2004. Nine months. Nine months. 
worth of 40. Unbelievable. And he gets Cosmic Ghost Rider. It was either going to be Apocalypse or Cosmic Ghost Rider. What a first world problem. And he is so excited. He had just a crazy amount of screenshots. Okay, so to end it, Doom, Captain Marvel Movie, Ghost, Nick Fury, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Human Torch, Captain America, Infinity War, Falcon, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Nick Fury. Where'd you pull Nick Fury as a six star? That's crazy. What an account for a free to play player. I mean, this is insane. Well, Pro 2004. Um, I, I don't get the the watermark issue. I'm sure there's something else you could use. That, of course, was not ideal. But everything else was crystal clear. And I appreciate the very, very longer than usual commentary. But for nine months, it justified the length. Uh, sorry if this video was too long for people who normally like four to five minute videos most of the time on my channel. They are that length, but this time had to uh, not cheapen a nine months worth of hoarding for a free-to-play player especially. Thanks again for the submission, sir, and thank you again so much for watching.